Well, good morning. This morning, uh, at least when I'm filming this, uh, this is Tim with C and D Farms, and I uh, just wanted to uh, start this video off by saying that we're finally getting some work done on the farm. Uh, we still don't have construction started, but we do have uh, one part of our farm completed, or we're getting ready to complete it today, is the driveway that you see behind me. So today we're going to seed the ditches. Uh, I've got some uh, straw matting to put in the ditch lines and I've got uh, some uh, contractors mix that we're going to put down to try to stop the erosion control. So stay with me uh, and we'll have some footage of us uh, seeding the ditches. <laughs> Hello again, this is Tim with C&D Farms, and uh, as I said in the intro, that uh, today we're going to start uh, putting some ground cover on our ditch lines. As you can see behind me, we've got our gravel driveway here that was cut in, uh, and then one thing that I chose to do myself was is all of this area right here, we've got a cover with some matting. It's hard to tell, but it's, that's pretty uh, pretty little decent incline right through here. So. Uh, I can mow it probably with a side by side, but you're still gonna have to have some covering on it. So, uh, and then also over here, you'll see on both sides of the road. So, the plan is, is I'm gonna take the tractor with the landscape rake. Uh, we're gonna kind of dress it up, knock down some of the bigger clods uh, of dirt, kind of break up some of that. Then we're gonna put the matting down, uh, the straw matting. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because. It is in a ditch line and we do have water running. So I need to be able to control that erosion. Uh, I'm gonna walk kind of over here um, to where one of the pipes are and I'll show you something else that we got to do. One of the things that we've got to go still do is go buy some straw. Uh, I've got one of the local farmers I'm on contact and uh, about buying some straw from them. So the other thing that I've got to do is dress up um, kind of round you'll see right here there's one of the pipes that goes through I've got two different pipes uh, in the driveway uh, so over there is one of the access points for the pipe that comes out right here and then if you kind of look down that's gonna go off through the pasture so some of that right there I've got to also seed or at least uh, go over with the landscape rake um, and make sure that I've got some ground cover. But right here, uh, the thing I've got to do is I'm gonna take some straw and uh, kind of put in front of this to slow the water down. Uh, one thing that I don't want to do, and you don't want to make sure that you've got, is down through here where they put some of this dirt from the road, you can see where some of it's actually the grass is coming back through it. So it is holding, but I'm gonna kind of uh, add a little bit more seed to it. So that's the plan. But uh, anywhere where we have water running or potentially could have water running um, that's, um, you know, gonna pick up speed, we wanna be able to slow it down. That's kind of the key. Um, so that's what we're gonna work on today. I'll have some uh, footage of us doing that. Uh, it's kind of early in the morning uh, and I just wanted to kind of uh, do this introduction and kind of explain what we're going to do and why we're doing it so in case somebody uh, asked that question uh, that's part of this content uh, and if you are new to this channel this is a uh, farm vlog uh, that we're going to do uh, that I'm going to try to do uh, and for the people that may know me uh, this is way out of my comfort zone um, so doing a YouTube channel is is something new but here that's something I decided to do so behind me what you see behind me uh, all through there is what's going to be C and D farms so uh, soon we hope to have a house uh, kind of right just on the other side of that tree we've got some videos you may see some videos of where we're going to put the house but uh, as you can tell I've got an extremely long driveway uh, it's about 1,600 feet long, um, you know, may, and it may, it, we may add to it a little bit once we get the house. We didn't build that part because we didn't want to tear up uh, uh, 
uh, gravel that we put down. So this is just the main main driveway. So uh, this is our front pasture that we're going to have. So pretty much everything behind me uh, right there is the is the front pasture. Uh, it's another pasture over there. You can see kind of in the wood lines. I call that my little side pasture. And then uh, you know pretty much everything over there that's the middle pasture and then when you get on the other side of the hill we have the the back pasture so uh right now we uh are going to focus on the driveway i've got one section that uh, it's going to be kind of difficult to work uh because i'm not going to be able to get the tractor in there but so but so much because of the angle uh, and that's kind of behind me so uh that's the steepest part uh, that right there for the time being um, I'm just going to put some matting on it because it is so steep uh, stake it down with some grass seed and uh, and then we'll have to work on that more in the fall this is not the optimal time to be planting uh, you know everybody tells me that but uh, I've got to get some ground cover on it um, that's the key thing. Once I put the straw matting, so a little bit of rains we do have, and then if we do uh, put straw down on the, the other parts of it, when we do have rains, um, then that will, uh, at least the straw will hold some of the moisture, and maybe the grass it will go. And I'm using a contractor's mix um, that is um, kind of a mixture of some fast growing uh, grass and then it also has some fescue in it. So it'll have some rye grass in it and fescue. So uh, stay with us. We'll have some uh, footage of some of the work we're doing throughout the day and uh, I'll kind of finish it out with a, uh, with a close. That may be today or it may be tomorrow. So stick with us, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. One of the things I'm using is a hand seeder like this right here. Um, this is a whole lot better, gets better coverage than a, um, you know, kind of feeding the chicken method. That's, uh, that's kind of the, um, you know, when you just take a bucket and throw it out by hand. I feel like a seeder like this, you put it on your shoulder, some of this right here, it's got a crank wheel. It makes it a little, a whole lot even spread. It kind of makes, uh, gets it spread out a whole lot better. That way you don't have real thick areas and real light areas. You just kind of walk along, kind of look where you're spreading. You can kind of see. And this right here is a little bit too too small for the spreader on the back of the tractor. And I'm kind of doing little sections at a time. So the hand spreader works a whole lot better than putting a, a big seeder where I can put 60 or 70 pounds of seed into... Um, the back of the uh, tractor and then well if I don't use it all then I've got to get it out so when I use the spreader on the tractor I want to make sure that I'm gonna spread everything that I've got in there because you know it's, it's not real easy to get all of that out plus it's just it may be contaminated so this right here if you don't have one um, you can pick them up at most hardware stores uh, anywhere that sells seed it's a hand spreader um, it works great uh, for little small projects although this is a big project I'm just in small areas and as I'm putting this matting down as you can see I've got a few places down already um, and we're gonna kind of go from uh, 
kind of do all the ditch lines and then we're going to come back and we're going to um, take a straw blower and hit the other areas but I wanted to use this matting to make sure that I've got the um, um, the ditch lines covered and by staking it down the matting uh, will stay there if it rains and we're getting close to the summertime uh, even though it don't feel like it it's May we start having thunderstorms so it's important to get some kind of erosion control on these ditch lines all right so what this is right here I'm gonna get back and lift it up a little bit it's not that heavy but it's some straw matting so it comes in a roll like this and uh, basically it's got uh, some directions on it so you want to unroll it it shows you the direction of the roll and then um, what we're doing is we're laying it in the ditch line and then after we lay it in the ditch line we've got some uh, landscape staples that we go along pound it in uh, on each about every so many feet to make sure on the ends and I'm kind of pulling it up to the edge of the driveway and that'll cover the ditch line um, the straw blower we get tomorrow uh, will kind of cover the outside of the ditch line so even though I got a little bit of a slope uh, I'm gonna look at some of my places if I need more uh, but right now I'm covering the mainly the, the ditch line to make sure that uh, we keep that erosion with this straw matting right here. So let's put it down. So real simple to put down, uh, it's not complicated. Just roll it out um, at the end down there. I left a little bit of the roll together. <coughs> Excuse me. The reason I'm doing that is because that's going to kind of create a break. So maybe the water comes down, I'm going to staple that down really good. And that kind of gives a, a little bit of a bump for that water to, to kind of hit. So now we're going to get the staples and staple it down. So this is one of the staples. This is the ones that come with this particular brand. It's not like a typical landscape staple. I'm gonna try to get a close up. It's got a kind of a circular head on it. Uh, blunt end on this end. Um, and I'm just using a dead blow hammer to uh, put, it in the, put it in the ground. So uh, we'll get some footage. We'll get back to work on this and try to try to get this at least this one section done. So come on and join us. Well, it's day three of this uh, seeding project that we started. Uh, as you can see, probably I'm in a different shirt than we started with. Um, but uh, we did get it finished. Uh, didn't quite go as planned. Uh, I planned on uh, doing uh, the ditch lines with the matting and then blowing straw uh, all over the, uh, the sides of the banks and some extra parts where I didn't really want to put the matting down. Um, as you saw, the matting was pretty easy to put down. Uh, basically, the hardest part is uh, stapling it or using the uh, staples uh, or the landscape spikes to uh, to kind of keep it in place. And uh, 
you know, today, right now, we got a little bit of a windy uh, day. It's not so bad, and the matting seems to be holding pretty good. So I just finished up. I uh, had to do a little bit of overseeding in a few places. Uh, but one of the problems I had, and this is going to be a problem that, you know, some people may have uh, in certain areas at certain times of the year, is I was not able to get any straw. Most of the local farmers have already sold out. It's uh, early May, so a lot of them are trying to get rid of it to uh, prepare their barns uh, and whatnot for the, uh, for the harvest coming up this year. So I really had a hard time getting straw. I didn't think I was going to be able to get any and actually didn't get any straw. Uh, so I had to buy some more matting um, to put down in places where I was going to put straw. Uh, so that cost me a little bit more money. Uh, so uh, that was part of the process and like I say I was going to try to uh, put the straw down yesterday but wasn't able to do that. However, I did find uh, one of the farmers I come by in the local uh, in the community was baling some hay uh, which is kind of unusual a lot of farmers now use round bales and uh, you know I thought about getting some old uh, old round bales and just pull them apart and you know be able to just pull what off I need and spread it out by hand because I couldn't use a, a blower um, but I did find a farmer that had some was fresh baled hay uh, and he had some and I didn't really need a lot uh, for this project uh, since I did put the matting down um, but I was able to put that hay down and we'll kind of see right here behind me so this is one of the areas that I wanted uh, to put I didn't want to put matting all over this whole area right here so we put uh, fresh baled uh, fresh baled hay right here and that may actually be a benefit um, you know hay is not I'm trying to build soil here too so hay will break down straw people say that straw is better for growing grass uh, we'll see I'm gonna kind of test it uh, the hay does have seeds in it because uh, when he was cutting the hay that you know had the seed pods so that will help with it uh, and I didn't spread it like real thick to where it would mat down and and cause it when it does get wet uh, to cause some problems I still have uh, and you can see behind me here I still have the straw matting in the actual ditch line so that's going to be the key there and that's going to stay because that's where moving water is going to be uh, and we've got it pinned down pretty tight so that it doesn't go away um, and the other thing too that I did here uh, is is I had a some on this farm when I bought it it had several piles where the old cattle areas used to be and they had piled it up so it was manure it was old hay so I've got several large compost piles already on the farm well I took one of those piles and, and, and brought it up here with the tractor and dumped it uh, and kind of mixed it in with the landscape rake uh, into the soil so maybe that'll give it some organic maybe the seed because as I said earlier in the video this is not the ideal time to be planting grass. Usually you want to do it in fall, uh, you know, or early, early spring uh, before it gets too hot. But I had to get some ground cover on this to prevent erosion. So that was the main thing. So uh, we'll kind of walk, uh, walk along here a little bit and I'll show you. We'll kind of got some of the, uh, so that field over there, that's the neighbor's pasture right there. And our fence line is our property line. And uh, so, I'm just kind of walk and look at some of this matting right here. I'll kind of show it to you. Uh, I was real impressed with it. I've never used this matting, straw matting. That's probably been around for years. Uh, and I used two different types um, because one store couldn't get it anymore. And uh, so I bought. Uh, some that had wood fiber in it versus uh, straw. So, as you can see right here, it's kind of hard to tell the uh, uh, what the uh, elevation is, and it's not really steep. But we've got straw on this upper side, and then the matting in the actual ditch line. So hopefully that'll 
uh, get us some ground cover and we can be able to uh, at least grow some grass to hold the dirt. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be a work in progress as we move and as we come out here. But this is kind of the uh, main thing. I'm sure I'll have to work on it, uh, subsidize it some with some, uh, some organic matter, and then that way, you know, kind of get the grass growing. Um, then we'll be able to mow it. So one other section right down here that I had a lot of trouble with. Um, it was mainly more of the, uh, the steepness of the bank. So I had a hard time with that. And um, we'll show you that now. The reason I had a hard time with it is because I couldn't get the tractor on it. And when they made it, uh, so I'm gonna put it right here behind me. As you can see, right here is, um, this bank's pretty steep. But the other thing was, kind of get out of the sun here a little bit. Uh, the other thing was is that um, I wasn't able to prep the soil like I wanted to so that was the hard part uh, because it's so steep I couldn't get the tractor on it and it was so hard because of the mud clods that uh, I wasn't able to rake it real good so I'm gonna have to deal with that and just kind of see um, how it does I did put matting on all of this to kind of hold it and make sure and I put a lot of seed in it and hopefully that will uh, uh, take hold and then we'll have to kind of work with it later on so um, that's pretty much all for this video I'm gonna set, set my camera down here that's pretty much all with this video today and uh, I just want to say that when we get the Sun kind of in my eyes here um, We've got projects going on, and, and if you like this type of content, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Um, I know I'm not the best uh, vlogger in the world, and there again, uh, people that know me around here uh, probably, uh, and I've said this many times, <laughs> they probably think uh, this is totally out of my character, so, uh, and it is. It, it is out of my character. This is not me. This is me trying something new. And this is me trying to uh, get out of my comfort zone uh, to make uh, just different content. And I'm no expert in none of this. Uh, so if people do see this later, uh, I'm sure I've done a lot of stuff wrong. And um, But I'm learning. And and if I can help somebody else learn a little bit, then I think that's, that's great. That's kind of the purpose of it. That's how I learned a, a lot of stuff. Uh, I learned the, the, about the matting from YouTube. Uh, I learned uh, about, um, you know, the little hand uh, seeder versus in a bucket uh, through YouTube. So, um, till the next time, uh, I'm not sure what our next project will be on the farm, uh, but we did get our first project done. And um, so hopefully we'll be hearing from our contractor pretty soon and we can kind of start with that. So until the next time, uh, God bless, and we'll see you uh, on the next video.